After blowing out the OKC Thunder last episode, be sure to check that out by the way. We're going to check our standings. We've got a very big game coming up against LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. So let's see how our team is doing so far here. Let's see what our record. We are sitting very nicely at 4-3. And, and actually, Pistons 5-3. Wow, that's very solid. The uh, Atlanta Hawks 7-0. and Man, they're playing just like they are this year in real life. So that's pretty crazy out there too. The uh, Pelicans in first place out west. Wow, okay. Like I said, it's very early in the season. So I imagine by the end of... You know, an 81 game season, a lot of this uh, standing stuff is going to change very much, but it's still nice to get off to a good start. Isaiah Thomas, David West, Tyson Chandler, all playing very solid. Ray Allen, even 10 points a game for being a 39 year old man. So, like I said, the thing about our team is that we're balanced. You know, plain and simple, we're a very balanced team, and that's really going to win you basketball games because when you have eight good scorers on your team, that's very hard for a defense to plan for that because. Anybody on any given night can come out and score 20 points, but that same player next game might not be the guy. He might only score three. Maybe somebody else will score 20 points. So it's very balanced and a very good way to play basketball. And honestly, in real life, that's probably why the Atlanta Hawks are doing so well because they're a very balanced team. They don't really have that superstar either. And I mean, even on this, you know, my league here, there are my GM. They're seven and zero. So let's go ahead and simcast this game against LeBron James and see how we do out there. Because like I said, we blew out the Thunder, man. If we can even get like a close loss or win with this game, then hey, we're very, we're in very good position to really show that we're a good team. So let's get this going. See what we can do. Boston Celtics, LeBron James. And actually, wow, we're actually, oh my God. Oh my, we're blowing them out too. What is going on with our team, man? We are, no way, man. Like, we go, we go out, we blow out the thunder, and then now we're turning around, and we, oh my god, we beat him by 37 points! Ray, wow, Ray Allen, what's up LeBron, who won, LeBron, who won that championship, you or Ray Allen? Come on now, that's what Ray Allen's pretty much saying. Tyson Chandler scoring 21 points, what's up with that? That, he's, what a great signing he's been for our team, by the way. He's been scoring the basketball, which is just gravy, man, like, I did not expect him to score that much. He's 21 points, that's, that's amazing. That's two big wins in a row. That is that's great, man. That's uh, that's what we got here. Back, very proud. We're very proud of our team, man. You can't say bad competition because, I mean, LeBron James and Kevin Durant and Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving and Russell Westbrook, man. Like that's not a bad competition. That's as good as it gets in this league. So I mean, you got teams like you know Steph Curry and Anthony Davis and all them, but that's not that's all I'm trying to say. Okay, so what do we got going on right here? Uh, we got to prospect some players because, like I said, we're playing like this. We're probably not going to get a great draft pick, but maybe we'll trade for one. I'm not really sure yet. So we still want to be prepared to draft a good, sound player. So I want to check out some uh, some shooting guards for us. Ray Allen's getting old. Not sure how I feel about Avery Bradley right now, but like I said, it's very early in the season. He could turn around and maybe he'll become my favorite player. I don't know yet. Just I'm going to give him time though. But in the back of our minds, who out there is good? Let's see here. We actually wow, we blew out the blew out the Phoenix Suns too. <laughs> Okay, we better not lose to Philadelphia. We lose to Phil. Okay, we beat Philadelphia. Good, good, good. Check out that box score real quick here, and uh, let's see how our team did. Tyson Chandler, 22 points. What is up with this guy? Nine for nine shooting. When did he become Dirk Nowitzki in the post? When did he become Dirk? Because he is playing like Dirk. I guess he did play with Dirk on the Mavericks, so maybe he learned a thing or two. Okay, big game here against Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies are always a very good team. I mean, they got the Twin Towers out there, and Zach Randolph, Marcus Saul. So let's see what we can do out here. And okay, they're beating us so far. Let's say very early in the game. We got that lead. We can play in solid. We're holding our own with them. We're actually doing very well against them now. Okay. Let's finish off strong. Finish off strong, guys. Finish off strong. Okay, we got it. We got this game. What a win. What a, what a winning streak. Bradley scores 16 points and Celtics win. Okay, very nice. Two for three shooting. You play like that, Avery. You will have a spot on this team going forward. You trust me with that. Soldier, 11 points with the double-double. 11 rebounds. Okay. And uh, Marcus Sullivan, he's always going to play good. Jeff Green. I really like Jeff Green. I kind of would, I would kind of consider bringing him back here to the... Uh, to the Celtics, but we do have the Greek Freak already as our small four, and I'm very invested in him as our player. And we are on a what? Is that a five-game winning streak now? That's uh, that's amazing, especially for this team. Like I said, we were, we are not rebuilding, but we are in the stages of developing young talent. That's not rebuilding. I don't, I don't. That's not my definition of rebuilding. Uh, but yes. Okay, how are we gonna do here? We got the, uh, got the Trailblazers coming up now with Marcus Aldridge, and let's see what's up with this. Uh, we don't we don't really need to prepare for them. I mean, I think our teams are doing very solid. I think they'll prepare mentally themselves. And yes, we do take out the Trailblazers, Lamarcus Aldridge, Damian Lillard. Another big win for us. Isaiah Thomas scoring that basketball. Ray Allen, do him some threes. Jared Salter, 17 points, 10 rebounds, playing very solid. Damian Lillard though, dropped 30 points on us. That's all right. You know, if you can have one guy drop 30 on you, and then like everybody else just not playing well, hey, I, that's a good 
strategy in my book. Let one guy try to beat you because basketball is not a one-man game. It's just really not. Okay, but let's see here. Jared Soldier, frustrated with his role. Dude, you just had two straight double-doubles, man. I think you're getting good minutes. Okay, I think you're doing all right there. No comment on that. We'll, we'll handle him internally. Okay, reporters always trying to start up something. The media is always trying to get you to say something bad. But we got a very big game coming up against the Chicago Bulls. And I think I'm considering. I probably will do a full game. We're sitting at 9-3, and three, top of the Eastern Conference. Chicago Bulls will 10 and 5. So we're going to do a, the whole entire game next episode. And I'm gonna I, I'm gonna edit it down for y'all and all that. So I gotta watch, you know, a 45 minute video or something like that. But I'm gonna edit it down and we are going to play a full game for the first time this season and really get a feel for our team going forward. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out.